I'm uh, forever trying new things, so this is one of them. If I could offer two audio tracks, I would. So I will suggest to you two ways to watch. One, mute my audio and open up something relaxing in another window, whether it's music or a crashing wave. Two, you can listen to my babbling that really goes on and on and on. I had hoped that July 5th, being a federal holiday observed um, for Independence Day, that I would get the peace that I get on weekends in my home, but not in the U.S. of A. I hear lots of trucks and things outside the window. So... In order to calm myself down a little bit, I'm going to do one of my little rituals. And this segues well into one of the things I'm planning to talk about, which is that I always feel like I'm doing something wrong. If record companies were not dead set on preventing fair use, I would include a clip here of the Violent Femmes saying <laughs> I'm doing something I'm not supposed to. I'm always doing something I'm not supposed to. I'm not doing something I'm supposed to do. I think that song is Lack of Knowledge. It has this Um, refrain, destroyed, my people are destroyed. I don't know about the whole my people, <laughs> but um, I never thought that I had a people. But the reason I am not supposed to be burning this It's like saging, it comes from, in this case, I believe a South American tribal culture. And since white people have discovered that they like doing this, of course, the, <laughs> and by white people, I really mean US Americans, um, most likely, are the cause of most of the world's problems. Um, happy Independence Day. Uh, so now I've heard that this tree is potentially extinct. Then also that just doing what I'm doing is cultural appropriation, but I mean, what am I supposed to do? Burn Yankee candles that I hate? Um... This reframes my brain, burning that and smelling it. Um, but, so 
some of the things that I have to talk about have to do with all the stuff I've already alluded to. Cultures, commerce. Anyway, um, normally when I do this, it's to escape the world and that's why I paint abstract because I'm not talking or addressing real world events. with which I cannot deal. But I'm trying something new, which is to combine videos of the creation of abstract painting with um, thoughts that motivate why I make the art that I make. I am using some stinky, how much more green do I want? Some stinky medium to make this spread. Destroyed my people are. Destroyed. Cute. Cute. I continue to struggle with how to set up a camera. To intimately capture what I'm doing. I don't like it. I hate the little inside of the, okay, that's dried up. I love to go through like my old materials and see if they're usable at all. Uh, one of the nice things about having the, do I have a knife? About having the uh, plastic thing? The freedom of abstract is that it's all, it's all, anything goes, all made up until I finish. Um, one of the, see, there's still beautiful color in this dried up weird jar of old paint. And by messing around with, I mean, this, this was formerly a liquid, it's become a stick. Um, Um, so one reason I do this is to, uh, come to terms with the <laughs> paradox, oxymoron ahead, absolute relativism of the world. Well, not everything has to be saved. I don't know that I love this yellow dust. If nothing can.
can turn it into. If nothing can turn it in, oh, well, I found something that might help. <laughs> well, there, damn you, Rob. Guess what? Adding a little bit of oil <laughs> turns it back into paint. The doy. The doy, son. This is just baby oil. Um, which I keep around because mineral oil actually cleans paint and hands and brushes. Um, anything that helps uh, disperse uh, a material is also like what cleans it when you when you're shaking up a can of spray paint you're mixing together the paint part and the oh, I don't study in advance so I don't know the term but whatever the stuff is that that helps it flow which is basically paint thinner. So. You're balancing your pigment and your, your thinner all the time. I really don't know what I'm doing, but painting with my finger is fun. But I'm really liking it. So, hooray. Someone shared this this morning, this New Yorker cartoon of, that said, can you imagine the size of the baby that painted that? Um, well, number one, it's just silly. Haha, -ha, funny. But if there is a, me a meaning to it, I guess it would be that 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 they're in a museum. I mean, this is a possible meaning. It can have multiple meanings, but a possible meaning is that they're in a museum and the art that is in a museum looks like what a child would do. Um, it's a joke, but it's also kind of retrograde and I don't really like it, but um, if I don't like encouraging. I, I mean, I feel like it's encouraging you know what? It's fine. I was starting to say I don't like the cartoon denigrating art, but my art, as I've already stated, struggles with the absolute relativism of meaning. There is difficulty in coming to terms with what is considered art. And... I think the fact that I make this and at any point I could stop and say this is finished and this is art, um, this is my uh, way of dealing with that level of subjectivity. But I do have my own standards, like I want to have right now, I kind of want to have some lines that are sharp and clear in the upper right for I have no idea what reason and I will use oh I don't know a pen or ooh maybe crayon um maybe this I'll try this dark blue crayon Boy, I hate it. <clears throat> but oftentimes, things I hate need a little further time.
It's just not the crisp line that I envisioned. Oh, but this is kind of cool. Um, recently, an artist I follow whose work I like posted this. Insert Jose Parla. And one of my first thoughts was anybody could do that. <laughs> and I'm an artist, so, you know, and I like this guy. One of my recent paintings uh, said anyone could do this, but only one person did. So I celebrate the freedom of individuals to do anything and call it art. But not anyone can do anything and have it be viewed 18 and a half thousand times and be followed by over a hundred thousand people and be to be able to do what they love for the majority of their adult life and be and, and make a living and be compensated for it. That is not within the grasp of everyone. And of course, I'm, and to a certain extent, I'm not supposed to say these things because it's not helpful and it's just jealousy. And of course I'm jealous. I would like to be able to travel the world and make an income creating the art that means the, that drives my life, that is my passion, that means something to me. So it's frustrating. Ah. Uh. This is cool. Um, as a result of my beliefs, it's, I, I, I also think that it helps explain um, our completely unjust economy and um, so, you know, just as I wouldn't permit, I permit, if I were designing, you know, society, I wouldn't have um, it's exhausting. This is why I prefer to finger paint and to talk. My preferred communication is but basically since I think it's true that there is a high degree of randomness in success I would not, now here I will use the word permit, I would not permit anyone to fail to the point where they starve or don't have a home. I just would not design society to be the way that it is. Ooh, everything I've done so far has been on a small scale and now I'm just going to come in and do something big and ugly. Do 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 do. Now I want white, and I want paint, but from where I'm sitting, I don't think I can reach white paint and I'm very lazy so do I have anything else oh there's a pencil sharpener I've been looking for that for years <laughs> really it has been less than a year oh only we're coming up on about, about the one year anniversary of when I moved my studio home 
In fact, it's probably today. No, the first. It probably was July 1st. I think, or maybe it was August. I prefer not to remember trauma, even though I did a good job. This should all be cut. Is yellow as good as white? It's not bad. I like what this yellow is doing. Mm. Pretty cool. This one could be done. So it's a good thing I have a thousand more. not the most odorific or intoxicating because it's non-toxic. <laughs> um, I was using a really smelly So I always feel as though I'm doing something wrong and I mostly mean in life, <laughs> but it could carry over to this. Um, when I first started creating abstract paintings. I was very judgmental about, I mean, it was cute. Like I might do like a brush stroke and think, oh, I ruined it. I mean, I invested a lot of emotion in not just each piece, but you know, like each moment of creation during each piece. By the way, as I make this, you might notice these boards have a tendency to bend. That's why they're cheaper per square inch because you have to figure out how you're going to display them. They're a less expensive material. Look at that, look at that pretty purple. Having made this kind of art, 
for 25 years now. I have bought into the anything goes. I I mean, I def I definitely think that there's um, stuff I like and stuff I don't like. But I'm not entirely sure what it is. And when I see art that I don't like, which by the way, insider tip, and I bet a lot of my artist friends would agree, um, I don't like a lot of other art. If I did, I guess I'd be making art like that. Um, including, I mean, a lot of artists that I love as people, I don't love their art. And so by the same extension, when I make, I mean, the fact that I have standards and preferences for when I'm making my work, um, I could, those could change, I guess is what I'm trying to say. They're not right. They're also subjective, obviously. Um, I guess besides the money, I think what one, one thing that pe some people love about Capitalism is you have this illusion that, oh, well, the market decides the wisdom of crowds. If it's popular, it's good. I mean, honestly, we all, we all sort of live to refute that, but we also, also, we all buy into it somewhat. Um... friend once told me, and this is someone who, oh, I hate the way, why can't, sorry for wiggling you. Does there still wiggle? Um, a friend who has sold art um, that she would probably call crafts and has moved on to other things, but, you know, has made more aggregate money from what she called crafts, you know, that she sold than I have in my lifetime selling. Uh, anyway, the, uh, what a long story. Anyway, somebody uh, once had said to me that, well, if I were you, you know, I would just figure out what sells the most, and that's what I would make. And then she quickly said, but I'm not a real artist. <laughs> and um, All right, now I'm hating this yellow, purple, and green. What is this, Mardi Gras? I've got to change this. Um, did the other one look like Mardi Gras? No. <clears throat> so, oh, how cool is that? So it'd be a great time for some big glob of paint to cover most of this up. And then I wouldn't have to worry about Mardi Gras anymore. Wow. I mean, some people like Mardi Gras. I've been known to party. Uh, I went and got more stuff. Now this is nasty.
my god, you're showing how you make your work. Nothing means anything. Yep. doing something I'm supposed to do. I'm doing something I'm not supposed to. <clears throat> so I'll probably just set this aside while I think about what this is going to be. Um, but I'm going to pull some of this so that it's not all the same texture. Put it aside, fix it later. I love how I was just talking about the emotions I used to go through as if I'm such a pro now and I'm sitting here thinking, I hate this, I hate this, I hate this. And I hate the video. But I think just like with the art, I think the trick to doing more videos is just to post them anyway. And that will be not doing something I'm supposed to do and doing something I'm not supposed to. thing that I do the worst is the marketing. So when my friend told me that she would paint whatever was the most popular, that would be a marketing decision. I, well, first of all, I have been saying lately that everyone I know is in marketing, and I, it's basically true. All my friends are in marketing, and even if you don't think that you are, social media is marketing yourself. So we have all been made into marketers. And maybe we always were, but it didn't seem so obvious, did it? Um, I guess I, I don't know if I need to define marketing, but I tend to use it interchangeably the same way someone might use PR or, um, yeah. And it, there, it's not that there's something inherently wrong with it, or at least I don't know. I don't think so. But I don't think that we should uncritically act as though it's just an unquestionable fact of life. I saw this image of, well, it's an emotional 
story that deserves for people to see, but maybe since I'm commenting on the meta aspect, I might blur, I don't know, I might blur some of it out or Maybe I'll share with you the story that everyone should go look up. Here's an emotional photo, and it looks sponsored, like it has. It looks like it has corporate sponsorship, which I mean, I guess we just don't think is weird, and. Sometimes I do think that's weird. And I feel very alone. Here I'll link to the thing that says to be an artist is to be lonely. I'm probably, uh, 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 uh. Maybe. What's fun about that is then I can take a lot of time to blend it lighter. Um, <clears throat> I mean, I think that marginalized people make for the most natural artists because they are, or we are, confronting things that don't make sense in society as it is. And if society made sense as it is, then <laughs> there wouldn't be suffering. So, uh, of course, society doesn't make sense as it is. Uh, damn it. Every time I hit that thing, I'm just very angry at myself. But I don't know what the solution is. I have some expensive rig hanging down from the ceiling that moves. It's controlled by my thoughts. Something that, <coughs> you know, a billionaire could make very good uh, art videos, probably. Higher quality. Or could they? Anywho. Um, I'm going to regret this. like doing things off camera just getting the getting the black off this crayon which I could also just do like so <laughs> but I didn't want to do that doing something I'm not supposed to mistakes are the best mistakes in something low stakes like this Eight by ten plane is, is what it's 
about. Um, I talk and comment about marketing so much kind of pretty as it is. Oh, now you've ruined it. I might just try inserting the references that I feel like and um, I mean, Monetization is the last thing I would want, and the only reason I'm using YouTube is because it's a free place to upload videos where people can see them. I would rather everyone pay me a nickel and show it to you without commercials. Um, I was watching, because as bad as my videos are, I actually do try to learn certain things. And I was watching um, a tip about, oh, how to do, um, well, um, boy, that, that, that just was not a good result or not what I wanted. A tip about how to do indexing chapters in videos. And then because I watched that, I got served a lot of other like how-to videos and, um, you know, listening to somebody say like oh, the, the goal, the name of the game or whatever, you know, monetization is the reason that we're, no, absolutely not. That is not the reason that I'm posting to YouTube. Boy, these colors are different from my usual. Mm. I think I have to put that one aside and make decisions later. Boy, black. So being an artist is lonely. I can't know completely what the
So you might notice where I'm painting this is um, on top of another canvas, which will someday be also available. Waste not, want for everything. Um, yeah, but you're like proud of your lack of success. You don't even want success. That is true in a way. I saw this meme. Posted and I thought, no, there's no version, there's no definition of success for me that would include talking to myself like that and calling myself lazy. That does not help me. And I feel as though the only, I don't know. I feel as though people who talk like that, what they, their definition of success is money, but maybe I'm wrong. I mean, I'm so uh, far from experiencing anything like success, I don't know what it looks like or feels like. But it's like, what am I saying? I'm sitting here doing exactly what I want to do, and... If and when the day comes that I don't have enough money to continue, I will make adjustments. So, and not being terrified of that, that's got to be some kind of success. And the part of calling myself lazy is part of that whole, I'm doing something I'm not supposed to. That not doing something I'm supposed to do. It's part of my mind that really beats me up. And I don't like that part of me. So this is, um, you know, paint can detritus. Could be fun to stick on. This one kind of looks like a puppet. Mystery Science Theater that I think this looks like a puppet robot. For the most part, the only people who see anything that I do are friends. For which I'm grateful, but I don't feel that I do what I do for my friends because I'm doing what I do for misfits like me. And in general, my friends are all getting along fairly well in the world. Um, I don't want to not have friends, but I also really feel most comfortable alone. All right, this, finally, I found one. This doesn't do anything for me. I'm going to, like, basically cover the whole thing up. That'll be fun. And as soon as I say that, I know that I won't, because while I'm doing it, it'll be fun to... To not do it uniformly. Do 
Oops. Everything is too long to explain, which is why, you know, just buy one of these and trust that it has a whole fucking long story in it. But have the dumbest story about friends and marketing from yesterday. I thought it was weird that there are alcoholic seltzers monitored under the name Corona. And I was like, what does that have to do with the brand Corona, which until now would have meant to me a light Mexican beer, and I would know exactly what it was. And these are like alcoholic seltzers that just have the name Corona on them for marketing purposes, brand identity, whatever. And that's kind of pretty, but also, what the fuck is it for? Nothing is for anything, remember? Reflections of the way life used to be. What to do with that? 
Uh, of course, my favorite part is that blue from below showing through. Uh, yeah, I hate them all. Wish you could see the things off camera. Oh yeah. As I just said, very recently, since perfection was always an impossibility, choosing what is good enough is that's judgment. That's important. Oh, the Corona thing. Um, so, you know, since all of my friends are in marketing, I mean, one of the answers given was the most obvious, which is like, if you have a, I don't know, this is my rephrase, but if you have a brand and you don't extend it or, you know, expand it, then it's like money left on the table. Um, but a reason that doesn't make sense to me is that I don't believe that money is a valid primary reason for doing a thing. <laughs> and I'm one of the weirdest people because I believe that. I mean, it seems that I'm one of the weirdest people because uh, that, I don't know where I learned that because that is not, I mean, I could have taken Christianity too seriously. That's one of the places I could have learned it. But um, all right. Um, I hate it all. Or I love it all. It's kind of cute. Probably should stop on all of it and make judgments later. There's definitely one piece I haven't looked at. Oh, I could come back to this one. Obviously, I'm not going to leave all that. Um, so somewhere at the beginning I said, like, I'm not saying that the way I don't think is wrong, but I am saying that I don't think it should be assumed that it's right. Because to me, there's a direct link between don't leave money on the table. Money is a natural primary motivation. And things like the fire in the Gulf of Mexico. And things like this uh, story I saw today of PPP loan abuse.
only these decisions can could on, cannot be made by like normal human consideration. I mean, you don't make decisions that lead to suffering and destruction. Um, that's not logical, but you can make that decision if making money is your primary motivation. And then it's like, as people often say, like corporations are amoral, maximizing shareholder value is a necessity. Um, then it's like, well, if you're not doing these things, if you're not exploiting <laughs> for maximum short-term gain, then you're doing it wrong. So from my point of view, the entire system is wrong. So why not ask the weird questions that extend to everything, including, you know, why would I make my art with my primary concern being making money? That's not logical to me. Why would I judge success based on money when people who do don't seem happy and are destructive? Why if I think that the world is super duper messed up. Why would I participate in, I mean, why? <sighs> Sorry, I told you I wasn't gonna hit the camera again. No, I didn't. I said, when I hit it again, I'll be mad at myself. And I kept that promise. Um, you know, as I said, I have to love my friends, but I mean, I have to love my friends. And I do love my friends. But there's no reason to believe that anyone has stuff figured out. And I feel like there's every reason for me to be stubborn and not go along with the system as I see it. Because I think it's really wrong. And a system wouldn't be a system if it didn't affect everything in it. And that can include, that can include every person you know and beverages and commercials, media, you know, things you like. Oh, and obviously I'm not saying people aren't allowed to enjoy drinking Corona seltzer or making it or marketing it or whatever, but I feel like it detracts from meaning in the world when brands... When I was a kid, I thought the Sony brand meant, meant audio quality and... Uh, I learned that that was not true <laughs> when I make a bad purchase. But I feel like that's what brands were originally about and why when you are traveling and you're, and you're somewhere where there's old world uh, craftsmanship and they say, oh, this is the place where you buy, you know, this is the place that's known for its blank and an American tourist says, ah, yeah, that's where they get you, blah, 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 blah. And it's like, no, it's really the place where the people who specialize in making that particular thing congregate and continue to make that thing. And it's probably the best place 
you'll find that thing and you can probably find some at multiple price points. Brands are not just meaningless, but more and more they are. My brand is not meaningless, except that I stand for meaninglessness in art. My brand is sincerity. My brand is um, that I make art that has complete freedom and confusion and it is not made with selling in mind unfortunately but a lot of these will be available I'm making small works to sell at an arts market on July 9th provided that the hurricane doesn't cancel it at the glass factory in Jacksonville Florida from 6 to 10 p.m. I'll include links or whatever. Bye.